everybody, welcome back to my channel. Miss Natalie Glam here. And today we are looking at our Ipsies, our Glam Bag and our Ipsy Plus, which I'm really excited about. And if you haven't noticed, look, I'm not in my bed. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Uh, I moved the couch out from my room. It's out on the curb and we are ready to have a different filming station. Is this the final form of what I want? No, but it's what I got for right now because of all the craziness going out in the world. I don't have money to spend on the, sh the bookshelves and things that I want. That'll be in the future, but for now, uh, this is what I got. We're, you know, just switching things up. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. We are going with the glam bag first. This is the, I think they raised it to $12 a month, but I personally feel like that is still a fantastic deal. I've been getting Ipsy's for years and I freaking love them. Uh, and I was confused though, so I already opened the box because I was like, usually, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, usually the Ipsy glam bag is in a like pouch. And I think it might have been because I did get add-ons, which I got the add-ons and all of this before all the craziness happened. But there's nothing I can do about it now. So that might be why they sent it to me in a box because I did get some larger add-ons with it. So we'll see, we'll see. But this is how they sent it to us this month. Yeah, there's definitely, I think, I can't remember. I think this is an add-on. I think these are add-ons. Okay, I will go and show you the add-ons real quick like this is a brush, an eyeshadow brush. And I've gotten a couple brushes from these guys before. I have another one in front of me now I'm about to show you. But this is the, what is it? What are you called? Complex Culture, I believe. Yeah, Complex Culture. So this is just an eyeshadow brush. So cute, simple, has like the goldish, like a white gold and then like a silver uh, little end on here. And I've got one of the brushes that I've been using for contouring in one of these boxes. And I saw this, I think it was like a $3 add-on, so I was like, toss it in the cart, I need it. Cause I really like exploring new makeup brushes and stuff. And we got another add-on, which, I don't know if I should actually show you this, because guess what, I was naughty. Oh wait, it might be different. Might be different, let me let me go ahead and open it. Uh, I got an add-on because I saw it was a super good deal and then I actually saw what was supposed to come in my glam bag because I looked because I couldn't help it, which I need to start doing if I'm gonna get add-ons. No, this is different, oh, cool, okay, never mind. I thought I ordered the same brush and I was like, damn it. <laughs> so, this is different, cool. This looks like a foundation brush and I'm freaking pumped about it. Okay, complex culture again. And this is like a super dense triangle, like, oh, it's so nice. All right, I freaking love it. Look how huge and like, dense, like, oh, they're so densely packed. So this is going to be a perfect foundation brush. I can't wait. I definitely like getting uh, lots of foundation brushes because then I don't have to clean them as often. <laughs> I usually clean my brushes about once every week and a half or so. At least the foundation brushes. I'll use one for a couple days, switch to another one, use that for a couple days, switch to another one, use that for a couple days, and then clean them all at once. Cause I feel like once you put foundation on your brushes, after a couple days, like they start getting like, it's just not good and you, you gotta, you gotta wash them. So this is so nice. I believe I paid $12 for this. It, oh, I love the way this feels. Like this is gonna be nice. So I'm really excited about that. Next we have another add-on, and this is smaller than the full size that I got, but I've gotten one of these eyeliners in my boxes before, and I really liked it. So I got this for $3, and of course it's one of the brands that I don't know how to say, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty consistent on my channel here. Uh, I can't read. But let me go ahead and just show it to you. So yeah, that's the brand, but I've really been liking this pencil. I have the full size. This cost $3, so I was like, you know what? Throw it in the cart. And to be honest, my eyeliners are getting a little low, so there we go. Because I'm also doing a no buy, guys. If you saw my other life update video with the coronavirus going on, everyone's in quarantine, my job, I got dumped like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> and uh, so I can't go to work for still like another, haven't been at work for two weeks. It's been, it's been hard, guys. <laughs> I've been going a little crazy. But, you know, so no buy because I don't have any money coming in. But I am keeping a couple of my subscription boxes. Did cancel some. Some of these, like these, I already had in my room. So, like, they were already paid for. They were already here. But, okay. So, this is another add-on. And it says, 
Shane, Shana, Shana B. Miami, and it is a blush in Bellini. So cute, simple, compact. I do like the sizes of these. I believe this was another $3 item. So here it is. All right, so just a soft blush here. If you can, you can see that there's two flamingos printed on there, so, so cute. And I definitely like trying new blushes. If uh, you watched my makeup collection video, I have way too many highlighters, so I'm trying to branch out and not get highlighters so much and like branch out and get a few like blushes and bronzers and stuff like that. So this is a nice like peachy shade here. Very beautiful. I can't wait to use it. I believe that was another $3 add-on. All right, guys, we are finally in our actual bag. Here we go. Sorry about that. Sometimes when they don't fit in the actual bag, this is the 100th glam bag, if you guys haven't heard. 100 glam bags. I feel like I probably have most of them in my closet over here. I've been getting glam bag for a long time. But uh, they put things on the outside when they don't fit. And it looks like we got a Luxie brush, which I do like Luxie brushes. The only way I've gotten Luxie brushes is in my subscription boxes. They can be a little pricey, but you know what? We're getting them in these bags. We don't have to pay the full price. Like I said, paid $12 for the bag and all the samples, not including those add-ons, but so great. Just I feel like you just get a good deal. This is a Pro Precision Tapered Brush. And I like it, it's big. I like the blue color here. So very nice. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Hmm, hmm, I don't know, I don't know. But very nice, I really like it. And I believe this one, nope, this does have the card inside. And it's Celebrate You, March 2020. So yes, this is the 100th bag from Ip Ipsy, woo! All right, well this shows all of our products in here little about them and it does tell you oh, okay it shows the full-size price for the Luxie brush because obviously this is a full-size brush full-size item which I like that that is what you get so $24 if I would buy this at the Luxie website like $24 for a freaking brush like that's why I get the add-ons and stuff because I'm sure this was a pretty penny too but yeah, I was like I'm not spending no $24 on one brush unless I'm like obsessed with it like my Real Techniques facial brush. That was 20, I love that brush, I love it. So $24, that is a little more too steep for me, but we got it in the bag. We didn't have to pay the full price, that's why I like doing this stuff, guys. All right, let's pull out this first thing that looks like a tube of toothpaste. I hope it's not, but we'll see. <laughs> I actually think it's a lotion. Okay, it says Polar, and in a different language on the top. Uh, it says Polar Night Relaxing Cream. Okay. Apply on face and dry skin. All right, so good size here. All of them here say that they are deluxe samples, which I've talked about before. I love when you're getting samples that are a little bit larger, like these deluxe samples. It helps when you want to decide if you really like a product or not. I hate when you get a tiny, tiny little sample and you can maybe use it once maybe and i just feel like you can't tell if you like a product or not if you use it one time and you don't know if it's doing anything a lot of products you have to repeat use to see results so i like having this i think this is a million times better than when i was signed up to birchbox because that was also like 15 dollars a month and the samples were so small like ridiculously small so ipsy just bringing it up Oh, and on the bag, I guess I haven't showed you the bag yet. I will in a second, but it does say 100th Ipsy Glam bag on it, so that's really neat. Okay, so what do I do with this little guy? It says put on my face, but is it a moisturizer or just like, you know, an all-over lotion? Because it did say I can put it in my on the body as well. It says proof that not every night cream has to feel thick and heavy. Okay, so a night cream, yep. Ultra potent yet totally lightweight overnight cream. Soaks into the face, packs a major moisturizing and skin soothing result says don't forget your neck <laughs> yeah so when you're putting on like uh, moisturizers and all that stuff make sure you're bringing it down on your neck and stuff because we want to keep that nice face skin nice and smooth and young looking but you know and then you don't bring it down your neck and then you start getting the you know <laughs> little gobbler there all right so I'm gonna go hot should I open it mm -hmm. yes we're opening it we're under quarantine there are no rules here I might not get any new makeup products 
for who knows how long. So anything we get, we're opening, guys. We are opening it for now until I change my mind. Oh, but yeah, this totally just reminds me of like, look how big the hole is. Like this is a sample size tooth, uh, tube of toothpaste. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> All right, it's getting a little off. It's just a white cream. Smells nice. Ooh. Smells really nice, but almost, like, to be honest, smells kind of like a uh, like baby powder, like in a nice, nice way, like real, free, uh, real faint. But yeah, it kind of has that baby powder smell, which I like. So very nice, and felt really nice and smooth on my hand. So cool. Can't wait to give that a try. Okay, now let me go ahead and show you the bag. I feel like I always just get so excited for all the products. And I forget to show you the actual glam bag. So the 100th glam bag, guys. I think it's cute. I really like it. It's like a teal color here. And it has a whole bunch of raised little metal bits on it. I like the different color of the zipper. And on the inside, too. With all the newer glam bags, they only recently started doing this. But putting their Ipsy little uh, like stamp in there. And usually this one doesn't, so I don't know if they're changing it because of that. But usually the zippers have like some kind of Ipsy. They have, say Ipsy, it's, you know, whatever. But And then on the back here, it has, you can't really see it. Let's see. It says the 100 glam bag. So that is neat. I do like that. I think it's really cute. Not all the bags are winners. Sometimes you get a bag and you're kind of like, mm, it's a little ugly. But, you know, I think this one's cute. All right, next deluxe sample is a Blackhead O2 Bubble Pore Pack. Cool, love face masks. Like I said, guys, had to cancel my Mask Maven. Maybe I'll get that in the future, but for now, it's just not working out. But I have so many masks built up, love doing all kinds of sheet masks, O2 Bubble masks, like all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm into it, put it on my face, and I will enjoy it. So cool. All right, so good size here. Like I said, all deluxe samples. And I feel like I'm not gonna open this just because it says the O2 bubble pour pack. I'm afraid like once it's exposed to air, it might start uh, bubbling up because I know I've used other products like that. Like once you start putting them on your face and they expose, that's when they start getting bubbly. Is that a fact? I've never used this. I don't know, maybe that's, maybe I'm, I'm totally wrong. I don't know what to tell you. But we will keep that closed just because of that. I don't wanna, um, you know. But super excited about it. Blackheads, we've sent them packing before. And they just can't take a hint. Made with ginkgo bilioba extract carried in micro oxygen bubbles that purifies and refines pores. Yeah, it says uh, massage on clean skin until it bubbles up, leave for five minutes, massage again, then rinse. Cool. Uh, yeah, love bubble masks. They kind of tickle my face, but I still uh, like using them, so. All right, we got a couple more, a couple more samples, guys. Guys, oh man, is this the same freaking, I, if it is, I'm not gonna open it and I'll just go get my other one. Oh no, it's an eyeshadow, okay, never mind. Because I've gotten two of these, the exact same uh, shades, but in, I think they were in two different, I think I got one in the Lure and one in my Ipsy, but they happen to be the same shade. It was a Wander Beauty, which I've been loving Wander Beauty, guys. I've gotten a lot of products from them in these boxes, and I don't mind. I've been really enjoying them. They are a little more on the pricey side, but I've been using their foundation and stuff, and I freaking love it. So this is actually an eyeshadow, so a single eyeshadow here. A very cute packaging. But yeah, been loving Wander Beauty. So anything, I've gotten mascaras, I've gotten eyeshadows, I've gotten primers. Like I've really been, eh, I was like ruining it, trying to open it. Ooh, it's pretty. I feel like you can even use this probably for a highlighter. The color is Bloss Crease Proof, Fade Proof, Instant Payoff. Hashtag Wander Beauty. All right, so very pretty. Go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, very nice. Wow, holy crap. Look at that, that is so pretty. It's like a rose gold, I've talked about rose gold before. I freaking love it, I just think it's so beautiful. I feel like this, I don't mind shimmery blushes. Like, uh, do I do it every day? No, but sometimes I'm in the mood for a shimmery blush. Like, I don't even care anymore. So this actually might be a very pretty for a blush, also the eyeshadow, but you know what, get crazy, experiment. That's the perfect time, especially if you are stuck at home in quarantine. It is the time to just live it up, experiment with your makeup, 
some fun. I've been doing Facebook Lives and I've just been having a great time kind of just practicing with the makeup here. Today I'm using the Blood Sugar by Jeffree Star, obsessed. All right, next here we have Tart C. And, oh, it says Tart Quenched on one side and C on the other. Hydrating primer, cool. So definitely a good, good size here. Like I said, love the deluxe samples. All right, very nice. Do my arm, look, look how red my hand is. I'm like, do I look red? What is happening? <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at my hands in person. I'm like, they look white. Weird, I don't know. But okay, cool. I'm excited about it. I've been using the Tarte, uh, I can't even remember, freaking remember what it's called. It's a primer, but I've, I've been loving it. Okay. Doesn't really appear to have a fragrance. Kind of thinner consistency. Yeah, feels like watery. Doesn't have a fragrance. Oh, okay. Cool. But yeah, definitely a very good size. I feel like that's gonna get you some uses to be able to see if you like the product or not, because you never know. And I like experimenting using different foundations with different primers, because sometimes I'll use a foundation with a primer and I'm like, ugh, like, it's not looking too good. And then I'll use it with a different primer and I'm like, all right, now it is. So you kind of just kind of have to practice, find that little combination that works good for you and, you know, run with it. Okay, last product for our glam bag, guys. This is a Ofra bronzer and I picked this and I think it is cute. It says this is a deluxe sample, and okay, let's see, full size is 10 grams, and this is, no, this has 10 grams on it. I'm confused. Okay, well, it says deluxe sample next to it, but then it says the full size version of this product is 10 grams, and it's $35. This is pretty big. I'm looking on the back, and it says 10 grams, right there, so I'm like, is it another full-size product? Did we get another full-size product in this box? Because that is freaking awesome. What else did I get full-size? I said there was another full-size item. Oh yeah, the Luxie brush done. I was like, what, what am I talking about? What am I doing? All right, so I think this is cute. I have some blushes from Ofra. I got some highlighters. I do not have a bronzer yet. So I actually picked this. So it's Ofra packaging, pretty classic. It is in the shade Americano, very nice. Yeah, super pretty, guys. Ooh, is a little shimmery. But I have some bronzers, too. I have some matte bronzers, I have some shimmer bronzers, you know, I just like experimenting. So very nice, that middle one there. So cool, I'm excited to try it. So yeah, so I'm like really, I don't understand why it says deluxe sample and then full size, 10 grams, I don't know. It's a mystery, I don't know, but I think this might be full size too, so pretty awesome. All right guys, for $12, we got all of that. We got the cute bag, we got the Luxie, the moisturizer, the primer, the eyeshadow, the bubble mask, and then the Americano, and then the others were the add-ons. So I am very happy with this. $12, we get a cute bag, we get all of this stuff, get a couple full size things, you can't beat it. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on to the main event, guys. Okay, Ipsy Plus time now. And this box was a little uh, beat up here. It's got some dents, it's got some. But you know what? That's okay. The post office people are working their tails off. So thank you so much for being an essential worker and delivering me my packages. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, keep up the good work. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the other brush that I thought, like this might be a concealer one, cause it's like the twin to this, only super mini. So that's why in the picture I thought it was the same brush. So I'm really excited. So that means I have like a whole bunch of these uh, complex culture uh, brushes that look the same. So they're pretty much like I got a little set that I didn't have to pay the full price for. So that is freaking awesome. So this one came with it. So let's see, does it have our paper? Yes, it does. So same theme, celebrate you. And this one does have the full size prices, cool. I feel like sometimes they decide not to do that and you're like, what? Okay, this is a concealer brush. Okay, cool. And it says that this is for $26. So probably around the same as this guy here. So that's the foundation and then the twin little concealer one. So very compact again. I'm excited. 
yeah how freaking cute like I just love it feels really good feels sturdy so awesome so yeah $26 for this so I'm excited to test the whole collection out I'm so excited all right and oh I did get an add-on on this one too let's see what it was okay I got an add-on on this one too <laughs> And it is the girl power from the bomb. So this guy right here uh, was an add-on. I think I paid twelve dollars for this, and it's just a blush little quad here. So you got the cute mirror and then the blushes. So I thought that was cute. Like I said, I'm trying to branch out, get some more bronzers, some more blushes, because the highlighter situation is uh, out of control. So yeah, so I did pay for this as an add-on. Should have showed you that first, but I got excited about the mini brush. <laughs> okay, next I'll go ahead and show you a similar item. It is another The Bomb. It is another cute little packaging, almost exactly the same. And this is Pick Perf Auto Bomb from The Bomb. And this one's an eyeshadow palette, guys. So I already have the blue eyeshadow palette that I, uh, I can't remember if I got it as an add-on or in my box. I, I can't remember. I think it was an add-on. These little uh, containers are hard to open with my nails. All right, that was a struggle. Okay, so here are the shades here. So mirror, just like the other one. And then we got all the shades. It does include a primer. This one's a neutral primer. The other one we got had a black primer, which is interesting. So you can put that on your lids, kind of play around with the shades, make them look different. So, so cute. This is the one I picked so it could have its little twin buddy in the bathroom. And then now it has also the cute little blush with that as well. So yeah, so that was, I did pick that and it says here that that is a $26.50 value. Cool. So yeah, I didn't want to pay $26 for that. Heck no. It's cute, but I would not pay that for this. So got it in the box. Got a good deal. Gonna be able to try it. I do like the other one that's its little like sister there. All right, next we're going into, was this an add-on? Cause I do not see this on. Oh, no, I see it. I see it. This is a Phase Zero Makeup Matte Liquid Lipstick in Undercover. So Phase Zero, I like the packaging here. Cute. Ah, as I throw it, <laughs> throw it out here. Do you like the color? It's a little pinky, but I've been trying to kind of experiment. Today I have a Wet n Wild Liquid Lip Balm, which is like pretty intense, but you know what? We're not going anywhere. We're not leaving the house. So I'm getting ready for, you know, just for fun. And let me show you it. So very nice, very nice. Yeah, so it might be cute, it might be cute. It's not too, too pinky. All right, yeah, it's not the worst. I, I feel like I can make that work. So very nice, very pretty, not too pink. I think I can make that work. And this is a $16 of value. I believe I do have some phase zero products. I think I have a highlighter and a blush and one of like something that looks like this little like square guy here. So very nice. All right, next here we have a Malin Goetz, Goetz Revitalizing Eye Gel. All right, so cool. I feel like I've been getting a lot of eye gel products lately. So just simple packaging here, nothing fancy. So I'm actually not gonna open this. I know, I know I said I would, but I'm a liar, guys. All right, I'm just not gonna open this because I have literally like 1,500 eye products and I don't wanna start the expiration on that guy if I open it and, you know, expose it to the air. So we're gonna wait. I'm using some right now that I've really been liking. So we're just, we're just gonna do this at a different time. And the value for this is 42 freaking dollars for this eye cream. So I'm really excited that I've been getting things like that in my boxes just because it's like, I'm not spending no $42 on an eye cream. Like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Hopefully it works amazing and I want the effects of the $42 eye cream, but I'm kind of cheap. The pretty much only thing I spend my main ticket money items are our eyeshadow palettes. Other stuff, not so much. But yeah, eyeshadow palettes is where it's at, guys. Okay, now we have a very nice Hemp's Body Moisturizer. Oh, it's a body moisturizer, so kind of lotion, you know? Uh, and it's from the Hemp's, which I've had many lotions by this, and I love them, they smell so good. And this is a perfect size to throw in your purse. 
and it says, yeah, and sweet pineapple, freaking cute. And so this is a $10.59 item here. It says, after bathing, slather generous amounts of moisturizer all over the damp skin. So I don't think I've had the sweet pineapple scent before, but I've definitely tried these lotions before. They are a little more on the pricier side. But let's go ahead and squeeze some. But I, I find them to be very nice. They usually, I think they sell them at Walmart now, but you can see them in like uh, salons and stuff. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, yep, that's the goods. Oh yeah, that smells freaking fantastic. I love pineapple and yeah. And it smells a little floral too, like it's not just the, oh, yes. it's making me hungry. Yeah, so that smells fantastic, so excellent. Love getting lotions, I use a, a lot of lotion. So, you know what, I'd rather get them in these boxes than pay the full price, because I'm a little cheapies. All right, last item, guys, and then I do have the bag that I haven't showed you yet. It's real cute, it's a little different. Same theme as the other bag, but a little bit different. But our last item in here is Luna Liner, water-resistant liquid eyeliner. Cool, love getting eyeliners, I talk about it all the time. Use a lot of eyeliner, and you know what? Like, yeah, like I got the little sample one, but, it saves me from buying them, and especially at this time when I can't spend any money, I need the eyeliners. <laughs> okay, so cute black eyeliner, nothing too fancy about it, and felt tip, very black, nice. Yeah, so cool, I can't wait to use it. We'll see, it says waterproof, we'll see. And the Seraphine uh, Botanicals, we have gotten products from them in this box before and I believe it was a blush quad. That, I think is pretty good. Not the best, not the worst, but I do like it. And so this guy retails for $18, so nice. More than I like to spend, so I love getting them in the boxes, guys. All right, well that was all of our products, oh. I just flipped the bag over and was like, ew. <laughs> All right, well from what I saw at first with the bag, I was like, cute, same colors, where's the other bag? Yeah, I was like, cute, same colors here. It's, it says unstoppable, it has that yellow like this one. Yeah, I'm like, oh, how cute. And then you flip it over and it's like, what happened? What? <laughs> it says Ipsy on the bottom. I don't know. Okay, so it goes over like this. Snaps in. So I guess that's kind of cute. But yeah, I was like, what? What? <laughs> All right, well, okay, I like it from this side. This is cute now that it's folded over, but I don't know. I don't know about that just plain color there. Kind of like, not really matching with what's going on. Like, what, what? That's not what I would have picked for the colors, but you know what, uh, it is what it is. Okay guys, well what did you think of the 100th Glam Bag? I thought it was pretty good. We definitely got some good products, some full size things, uh, some high ticket items. So I'm very pleased. Like I said, Ipsy has been pretty great. Hardly ever disappointed. And yeah, I just think that it has been pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and calculate how much I, the value of the plus was. Because we did get full size items, they, we didn't have to pay full size prices. So let's see what kind of deal we got with that one. I'll be right back. All right, for our Ipsy Plus this month, the value of our box was $139. So I think that's pretty, in nine cents. Don't forget that nine cents, guys. We need that in there. Which I think is pretty great. We paid $25 for this box. That doesn't count any of the add-on items that I received because I did pay separately for those, so that's not part of this deal. But I think we got a great deal. I love everything. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna have lots of free time to practice using all this stuff, so gonna have some fun the next few days. But what did you think, guys? Do you love Ipsy? Are you still thinking about joining? Not sure. Do you get the Ipsy Ultimate? That's one thing that I'm just like, I don't know if that's worth it. I've seen some people open those boxes and for $50 every month, like, girl, I can't do it. But I thought everything was pretty great, opposed to the weird bag, kinda, you know, but yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, I hope if you liked this, you would give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to join. I've definitely got some new peeps in the house, and I just love you guys, and I've been so excited about doing this. Uh, this will not be the final background but it is just for now probably the next month or so just because like I said don't have the funds to have it look like the envision I have in my head but we will get there we will get there but thank you so much guys I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I will be seeing you all very soon bye